right back on again. You see, you've got long legs, so it's easier, I think. <coughs> you can't always um, reach the steps when you've got little legs. <sighs> this is my third walk out in, in consecutive days. Um, Saturday I went out over Sand Bay and the Priory and back along the beach. I, I caught the bus out to Sand Bay and the bus back though because I was like cooking the dinner I had to get back. Yesterday I did a quite a nice walk in uh, Worldbury Woods, Westerns Woods, Westerns Hill Fort. I was out there for a good three and a half hours. Not massive walks, either of them. But nice walks in the winter sunshine for a change. Because after I did that Quantock walk, over at Holford, the weather was really bad after that. It was gale force winds, gusty winds, blustery winds, cold winds, and um, grey and rain. It was like really horrible. I'll tell you the truth, it was really horrible. This, this reminds me of like Hobbit land around here though. It's a bit creepy. And it's in the dark. It's uh, thawed out on this side a bit. The sun's coming round I think. This is in the Black Rock area. Um, and up there there's a, another feature that could possibly have been some sort of defence or a dwelling once. I think I went right up to it in the past, but I'm not doing it today. Now this is the colder side here. As you can see, it's very damp, very mossy. But I'll emerge into the sunshine in a minute and be baking hot again. Hello, big tree. Uh, they've done these little walks for people. Big foot. Hello, big foot. Oh. <coughs> and there's even a post. <coughs> and up there, I only just picked them out. There's some goats. Brown and grey. You might not even pick them up with a camera, Sheila. There's one. And they're in there. There's another one. Goats get everywhere. There's a post there. For first timers, it's always handy to have posts. It's reassuring to know that you've not gone off track and got lost. That this is a designated pathway on a nature trail. It's reassuring if you see a post because you never think, oh, it's not going to be too difficult. They've put a post here. Yeah, there we are. I'll have a number. Oh no, he hasn't got a number. But anyway, it's telling you to go that way. But you can do it either way, you know. Most people probably come up there and then come round like this, I expect. But it is like Hobbit land here, isn't it? You know? It would have made a good defensive position, though, in the past. Yeah. You know, people, anyone coming up that valley there, that would have been all guarded. And of course there'll be a history of some sort here. Quarrying. It's the main one. Some sort of quarrying. Yeah, they've uh, conquered that hill up there. A whole load of goats up on that that hilly structure there. Um, if I go right in, you can just sort of see them moving about. They're quite friendly, the goats, you know. They're not really frightened of humans at all. Yeah, you 
you can feel the temperature as you go up actually getting warmer. So that's why I didn't bother putting my jumper on and hat and all that at the moment. Now that's a nice scene, isn't it? I'm just going to turn off and take a picture. We'll... Hold on. Here's a goat, look. For a minute I nearly had it on standby and not videoing. He's on that prominent feature. He looked up a minute ago and looked over as if to say hello. He's chewing, busy chewing dock leaves and stuff. They all look quite well fed. So this is a little bit of Hobbit land here. <sighs> Lovely place for kids to explore though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Wouldn't you have fun if I'd had a place like this when I was a child? <sighs> yeah. Lovely place. Lots of place to make dens. In a minute we'll come out on the field where the, not far from the alapacas. I'll be going past them, I'll be saying hi to them again. Some sort of stone structure over there. I have investigated all these structures. They're on old videos. Could be quite inferior, like Vivitar. So, records in time. Can't dismiss them, they're records in time, even if you can improve on them. That moment in time is that moment in time. That moment of discovery. So, I mean, they look well defined. Those blocks there, and a lot of people have gone over, you can see. They're well-defined blocks, they are. That's a structure, and that could have been the Romans. I bet they were out here quarrying. They wouldn't have missed much. They were only just up the road at uh, Velvet Bottom, so they would have found this place. <sighs> Might have even... Some of these stones look Roman. Let's keep going now. Keep going. It's zigzagging, which is fortunate. It's zigzagging, it's showing you the habitat of various animals that have got the pleasure of this place. Lovely blue sky today. It's one of what you call a hot and cold day. One minute you can be really hot and sweating and, God, really hot, like I was. Then you can actually more or less freeze. And look at the ferns here. They look really happy, don't they? Well, all the ones on the Quantox are like brown, amber, brackeny. These here, say, look lush, don't they? They look lush. They're enjoying that warm spring air. It's not even spring. This is winter. This is 20th of the 20th of the 20th. I don't know if that's symbolic of anything. <clears throat> 20th of 2020. Well, it's the 20th of the first 20. 20. Still got three 20s in it. <sighs> yeah, there will be others because there'll be a 20th of February. That'll be 2020 or 20. There's quite a few every month actually. We'll have three lots of 20s. <sighs> the only different number will be the month. <sighs> Look at that. That's some sort of animal. Look out. Fresh that dirt is there and it's loud to poo, look. That's a little person's foot, that is. How unusual to have like, why a, a little bit of brown dirt there? Don't you find that weird? And that's darker brown, look at that though. How strange. It's strange really, isn't it? 
Very strange. Getting higher up towards the field in a minute. Then it'll get hot again. Over this side of the hill. So we had the, um, uh, the north side of Cheddar Gorge over there. Which I walked all the way along after climbing up through the wood. That's when it got really hot. And I had to take my jump, my big, big woolly jumpers off. It's in my bag. I might have to get a new bag. The zip, one of the zips is gone. This brushed him with winter clothing. Once we get to our kapakas, or alipakas, whatever they're called, that's the halfway mark. And then we go do the circle back. And I probably will go down the gorge. I will. I probably will go down it. Those people I met are probably now. If they went, they might have gone down back down the road. You don't know. She did look a bit anxious, the woman. Um, if not, they probably might be nearly at the top now. Maybe. Of that track I told them to go up. It might be. They'll be relieved once they're up there. This is all downhill. <sighs> Dangerous downhill. Oh, here we go, everyone. Emerging. And then we're emerging into this field. <sighs> um, <sighs> I don't know if there's any cows. It's probably it's got to be about a month ago. I left. I can never remember. It's, it isn't very long ago though, but it's a good month. I think it could have been December. Um, but some of these prints look quite new again, don't they? You know, I'm not going this way. I'm just going to just point out which way I would have gone. The cows all went down this way, and I think they were herded off down there somewhere. There's the um, aerial moss up there, above Velvet Bottom. There, look, in the place that's always burning stuff. Velvet Bottom all along there where the Romans were and the Victorians doing their, their mining, their lead mining. Puddling, I think they call it. They make, make holes in the ground rather than like big mine shafts. Yes, I've lovely seen this. And then I'm going that way. So I've just turned off to take a picture of this scene. <sighs> 